Uh, Connor, thanks for joining us. Thanks for your time. Um, first of all, how do you reflect on the victory over London in the Challenge Cup last weekend? A really strong second half showing in particular from the lads. Yeah, yeah, no, it was it was good. It was good to get the win. Um, obviously, in the first half, we were just finding our feet a little bit. Um, second half, we came out came out strong, and you know, we, we scored was it twenty odd points unanswered. Um, it, it was nice to get a full game under my belt with Josh, and um, you know, our halfback partnerships have been like a, plenty this year, and we, we've had too many. And um, it was nice to get a full game under my belt with Josh, and you know, um, hopefully, we can build into the next couple of weeks. Yeah, just before we come on to that partnership with yourself and Josh, what was sort of the main difference between that, that first half and the second half? What sort of works a lot better in that second uh, 40 minutes? Um, I, I mean, people look at the tries that he's gone, the closeness of the game going into half time, and, and uh, you know, the majority of teams in this league are going to come out strong for 40 minutes. Um, but if we put them in the pressure cycle that we want to and um, we, we, we put them into an arm wrestle, you know, teams will get tired and, and we'll come out the second half firing. And um, I think London. You know, first half we did, we did tire them out a little bit, in the second half they were a little bit fatigued, and then we cap capitalised on that. You mentioned obviously that partnership with yourself and Josh Taylor in the half backs. Obviously, two players obviously usually hookers, but playing in the halves. How have you been finding that positional switch? Yeah, I know. Me, me and Josh are loving it. We keep getting into all the actual half backs that are, are out injured and um, telling them that they'll be out of a job soon. <laughs> um, but no, like it, it's nice as nines. We, we both know how each other play. Um, we both have a good understanding of the game and um, you know we're just doing our best to fill in and do a job for the team at the minute. Yeah. And you've played there a little bit before at London haven't you um, during your, your career previously? Yeah yeah I played a bit of half at London um, you know I, I played with Jordan Abdul down there and he, he did most of the kicking and organising you know I was, I was just a bit of a plank of wood but um, you know I've got a bit of experience playing half it's not my preferred position but I'll, I'll fill in uh, for the team if needs be. Yeah, I know when you signed, Hendo did sort of say that might be your role as a bit of a utility player. And obviously, when we've had injuries this season, I guess that's your sort of role. I guess trying to sort of fill in where you can and yeah, just help yeah, the no, team out. No, as much definitely. You, can. Um, you know, my pre preferred position. To be fair, I, I don't have a preferred position. You know, I'm, I'm getting a little bit older now, and I'm getting a bit fatter. Um, so usually, you um, you make the switch into the middle. Um, so loose forward hooker, okay, probably my preferred positions. But I'm happy to fill in where needs be. Um, like I say, I have a decent understanding of the game, so I, I can fill in where Hendo needs me, really. Yeah. Um, Featherstone, the opponents this weekend in the Summer Bash, I guess it doesn't get much tougher, does it, than the uh, unbeaten league leaders? No, it's, it's exciting, though. It's exciting now. We're off the back of a few wins. Um, you know, who better to test yourself against than the, the league leaders and, and the favourites to win the competition, um, especially at such, like, a good event like the yeah. Summer Bash. I've played in Summer Bashes before when they played at Blackpool, and... Um, it's really, it's really good that York have got the opportunity to host this year. It's a great city and um, great fan base. So um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good game. 